Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content as always. Also, we're going to be doing some Udemy courses. So if you're interested in that, links are going to be in the description very soon. So thank you so much for all the support as well. Uh, so here we are. What we've been doing the last couple of videos is just make sure the bullets render and we have a texture for them. In this video, we're going to make sure the bullets can move up and also get deleted once they hit the end of the screen, to the top of the screen. And that's important because otherwise you're going to have a bunch of bullets which just fly around and stay in memory. We don't want that. Step one for that process is going to be to check update bullets. Now we're updating the bullets. We also have a function for getting the position of the bullet. If we look at that, we have a get bounce function. If you want, you can make a get position function here as well. We probably will. Uh, but before moving on with that, let's just make sure we check the bullet for uh, for its position uh, relative to the screen. So if this or if bullet, sorry, bullet, where is bu bullet dot get bounds dot top. So we're checking the top corner of the bullet. And we want to check the bottom corner. So to do that, we need to do top plus bullet. Let's just copy this. So plus bullet height is less or is, uh, yeah, less or equal to zero. Let's do less than 0 0.f because then it'll be really outside of the screen. Now, if it is outside of the screen, bullet culling top of a screen. Now, culling is a good word. Culling is not as complicated as it sounds. It's basically just removing something when it's not visible or removing something with a certain condition occurs. So that will optimize our game because the bullet's outside of the screen. If it is outside, we could basically say that we need a counter for this. Int counter or unsigned counter so it won't go below zero. At the bottom, you want to do plus plus counter and use plus plus counter inside of counter plus plus when you're using it alone like this. Uh, that's a small little optimization you can do. I always use plus plus instead of the postfix. Uh, anyway, once that's done, you want to say this bullets dot erase. This is how you erase something from a vector. I don't know if we talked about this before. We probably did. And you probably know about this, but you have to use iterators here. So there are iterators in this vector class, which can check the end of the array as well as the uh, beginning of the array. So you need to check, you need to erase at the beginning plus counter. So that will give you the actual position of this bullet because counter is con consistently increasing as we're iterating through this bullet array. So doing this, we'll remove it at the position. But once we remove something, we need to make sure counter goes back a step because the array is going to be one size smaller. So you just want to do minus minus counter and you will have deleted the bullet. Bullet. All right. And also our bullets are dynamic. So you need to delete that bullet first as well. This, uh, let's see, bullet... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Delete and it's a pointer to that bullet, so it should be able to, we should be able to delete whatever memory is over there, and then erase that pointer as well and minus minus counter. That's good. Okay, so next step is to move it. Here we have our bullets being pushed back into our array. The first is going to be the direction in the x. Yeah, that's zero. We need to do minus 1f for it to move upwards. And the movement speed is going to be 5.f. If we do this, hopefully it will move as it should. It might crash. We don't know. Am I even recording right now? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. All right. This step is crucial as I don't know what happened. Okay. Hold on. Something crashed. Okay. So it was crashing and I made sure I did this instead. So this bullet's at... Position counter, delete, we run this. Now you'll see that it doesn't crash anymore. And we're shooting and hopefully it's deleting all that memory right there. 
And to check that, if you do want to check it, you can do this. Um, you can say, let's see, std cout this bullets dot size, and that will tell you how many bullets there are. Okay, and we run this. It should tell us how many bullets there are. So zero at the end, you see that? It's deleting all of those. Boom, 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 boom. And that is our important, that's the most important part. So make sure that happens and you'll be good to go. Good, 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 good. Now that is good. Now, as you see, once we press our button, there is no cooldown for shooting. And we need urgently need a cooldown for attacking. Now, there are different ways to do this. You can keep the cooldown in player. You can update it in player if you want. Uh, it would be a good thing since the player is attacking. To make it easy, though, you could keep it in game. But we will keep it in player, right? We're going to keep it in player. We have movement speed. Let's say float attack cooldown. Float attack cooldown max. Okay. And we're going to increase it by one. So we don't need to worry about the increase. Uh, this is what is right now. This is max. And once we hit max, we can shoot again. So that's how it's going to work. We have our update function here, but I'm still going to make another update function. Void update cooldown or update attack. Let's just do update attack, whatever. We'll keep it at that. Define this once it creates. Go ahead, go into that. Go to update attack. And here we're going to do all the magic for that. First of all, call it this update attack so you don't mess it up good and then we're gonna do this this cooldown plus equals one dot f if this attack cooldown is less than this attack cooldown max we're gonna increase it all right and good once it reaches that it's gonna stay there and once it once we attack, we're going to reset it. Um, that's very good. That's very good. Let's see. Good. Now we need one more function, which is going to be a boolean. That's going to be basic boolean here. Boolean can attack. Const bool can attack. Const. No, it's not going to be const because we need to change something in here. And this function is going to make sure if we do attack, it's going to reset uh, the stuff for us so if we look at this can attack function here let's make an if statement if this attack cooldown is greater or equal to this attack cooldown max we're gonna return true that was almost german return right uh, i don't know uh true i'm probably wrong with that even if i took german in school whatever doesn't matter so here we go. We're going to return true, but we're going to say this attack cooldown equals 0.f. And otherwise, we're going to return false. And that's going to reset it for us. So this will keep updating again. That's good. Let's do 0.5f since we don't want it to go up that fast. Also, we need to make sure we go to init variables. Let's make an init variables function. Why haven't I done that before? Void init variables. And this is going to be quick here. Very quick, very quick. Boom. Init variables. Go ahead here. Take your movement speed. Make sure to call it init variables. Make sure to call it. Put movement speed here. And then this attack cooldown equals 0 0.f. Uh, no. No, 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 no. We're, we're going to do it like this. This attack cooldown max max equals 10.f maybe and this is going to be copy this this is going to be this attack cooldown max so the first attack is going to be basically in instant that is good for us uh make sure we're calling that update attack there and make sure we're calling update player here in game so we need to go to the update here pull events inputs update bullets this update this player update 
good. We're calling it now. We're rendering everything. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Now we need to check the shooting itself. Go to game and go to update input and do this. Can this player can attack? And once we can attack, it's going to shoot. Now you run this and it should be perfect. Shouldn't be an issue at all. Guys and girls should be amazing. Yes, look at that. Pa 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 Yeah, yeah, we like that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That looks amazing. Pa 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 pa. Okay, I can't. This is fun. That was fun. It's better than all the games I played this year, to be honest. But there you go, guys and girls. We're shooting. We're messing stuff up. We're doing good. In the next video, we're gonna start off doing some enemies, and we're gonna make sure we work with this polygon class, poly SFML polygon object. And then we're going to make sure we can kill some enemies, get some points, get some GUIs, get all that stuff going. All right. So get hyped. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.